In recent years, around a million tourists visit the Upper Rock Nature Reserve annually, and many of them choose to take a rock tour. The guided taxi ride incorporates historical sites, spectacular views, as well as seeing Gibraltar's famous monkeys. I really enjoyed the trip, but I was surprised to find out that, despite it being against the law, feeding the monkeys could also be part of the tour. You want to do it? Yeah, I was wondering about how to do that. Much easier. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's 27 pounds per person. Okay. That includes the 12 pounds tickets, but you have to wait for some more people. Okay. Okay, so hold on for five minutes, have your coffee, see if I can get some more people. Okay. And if you want a monk, if you want a monk, not everybody wants it. If you want one in your shoulder, you're better off with the driver to help you out there. You do the diet, you know, they eat, they eat too much. So what happens if you get caught feeding? Now, well, you get a fine or you get told off, you get lucky or whatever, you know what I mean? Obviously, us and the inspectors, it's a bit of give and take, really, you know what I mean? I mean, they all know that us taxi drivers feed the monkeys to get. It's the way we get them into your shoulder, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. The monkeys won't just do it for the sake of it, you got to give them a peanut. <laughs> just like us, taxi drivers. <laughs> 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 I think it's much less common than it used to be. It still happens, uh, and obviously we have the uh, uh, environmental protection officers who go and try and advise people, tourists and so on, who may be doing this, this that, that they shouldn't be doing so. Um, uh, and I think the culture is actually slowly changing. Last year on the government website, it says that there was no one reported for feeding the monkeys. Is this because kind of authorities turn a blind eye? No, not at all. As I say, it's happening less. Also, do remember, and this happens in every kind of situation, when you have an enforcer present, the person is going to be more careful, so perhaps the incidents don't come up as obvious. GPC have on camera a taxi driver saying that taxi drivers feed the monkeys and that the authorities know this happens. Uh, is this something that you're aware of? Oh, well, I wasn't aware that they'd said that. Um, the, the, as I explained before, I think it's happening less. Clearly, in every situation, there will be people who do what they're not supposed to do and we engage with them, we encourage them not to do this because, as I, I've just said, it's not in the interest of, of the animals in particular. Um, you end up monkeys getting diabetes, it's same as us, they're, 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 they are very similar to us in many ways, or having tooth decay, uh, too much contact with people means that they're at risk of catching human diseases like measles, for example, or the flu. Uh, our monkeys, fortunately, are, are virtually disease-free and they would more likely get diseases from us than we would from them. So it's not good for them. Um, and as I said, increasingly people want to have a wild enough experience in which they see animals in the natural habitat doing their natural behavior. They would much rather see them digging in the ground for seeds or bulbs than, you know, grabbing a chocolate or drinking from a bottle of water. I think it is changing. Guidelines on how to act around the monkeys can be found on the Visit Gibraltar website, which includes tips such as giving them space and how to recognise their warning signals.